so I'm not planning on doing videos on the epilogue, some part one, part two. I'll probably do the first part on the epilogue, ending of the first epilogue, start of the second epilogue, and then end of the second epilogue. Because the second, the end of the second epilogue is apparently the official ending to the game. And so, <clears throat> uh, I just don't know. I, there's a lot of missions in between, so we'll have to see how that goes. Thank um, you. What the hell? Thank you so much. have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Well, it's about time someone else are is coming to their senses. Right, Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on. The place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Damn. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir, how can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> Oh man. Or so we'll see how this one goes, I guess. Come on, girl. This way. I also have some men leading me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. Ain't a problem. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I'm not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Uh, perhaps. There's an army captain, Lyndon Monroe, who was seconded here from a regiment in the north, sent by Washington. A good man. He'll be at the meeting and he knows the true situation. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Oh, what the hell? No, oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just, I'm ready for this piece to finally be set in stone. Finally I'm ready to move on. I feel like maybe not not going with Dutch and, his, and that man's son 
might have affected the ending because I know there are three different endings and so I don't I'm, I do want the good ending but uh I just don't want to get involved in that business anymore <laughs> just too much for me it's not it's personally none of my business but yet they still need my help Oh, babe, can I live with you guys? This place seems pretty nice. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, wait, oh, this isn't your guys' place, is it? Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> I always just raid the camp and then take it, you know? <laughs> I'm assuming this will be a short mission. I, I assume that, but it probably won't. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um, the Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here. Oh my gosh! And we want an outcome, but quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martial Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, 
that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. Just let him go, okay? I'll kill you. Don't be dumb. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah. Come on, guys, we gotta hurry. I don't know why he's waiting on me. <laughs> Sheesh. Shit, hold on, hold on now. Oh shit. Oh jeez. Fuck you, bitch. Hold on. Oh no, I don't have a... I'm trying. Mission was a little bit longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> Man, my whole life, 
I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. When you take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, or avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. God. <laughs> Reverend? Oh, goodness. Reverend. What's going on? What are you doing here? Um, I'm leaving. Running away. I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can, and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. Oh, sheesh. That was rough. Oh, my goodness. Oh, crap. Alright, well, while we're out, we might as well go ahead and uh, do this one. Or maybe this one. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, let's do this one. This one... Actually, I don't know. It's already 20 minutes into the video. We'll go do this closest one. It's probably going to be the longest mission, but it's alright. Yeah. I have unopened mail. Hold on. Hold on. While we're here, let's go and check out this mail. <laughs> oh, shit. That area over there is off limits to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. My bad. 
<sighs> Receive mail. Oh, Ten days ago, sheesh. <laughs> okay. That was forever ago. This video is probably going to be a little bit longer than the rest of them. Because I'm going to try it. Like I said, I'm going to try to get two missions done for each video. So. Man, we're getting close. We're getting close. Get closer and closer every mission. I'm going to ignore it. Nope. No, sir. I will not be. <laughs> Don't run over me, please. Gosh, I love the wildlife in this game. This game is just so gorgeous. I love it. So many great things about this game. Oh, where's this mission at? Is it up here? Hopefully. Dang, how far is this mission? I'll just call it quits for this episode. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I personally am afraid this mission is going to be like 20 minutes long. This video is going to be one long video. I'm trying to hurry though. I'm trying to hurry. Oh man. Wait, so what do you guys think about this game so far? You guys like it? You guys think it's pretty good? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty great. <laughs> oh, man, I'm I am just I'm wanting to finish it today, man. I'm wanting to finish it. I'm wanting to get it over with today. Probably not the whole story, probably just chapter 6. Just chapter 6 is just so long. Here we go, we made it. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just going to trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. <sighs> okay. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. I feel like Dutch is up to something. We'll blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. What? It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Aaron. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. Is he gonna attach it or what? There we go. 
I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. Sheesh, how much time are we gonna place down? So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Yeah. I don't know if they're all good ends to like tie up, though. Oh, goodness. Is this the last one? It freaking better be the last one. It's taken a hundred years. I think that can do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Just gonna leave that there. That's that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> Come on, Dutch, you're getting slow, old man. Oh, am I supposed to run over here? The detonator's by me. Here. Um, do, do, do you tell me I have to? Oh my gosh! I better not have to be the one to detonate it. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn! Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna. Oh, great! <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure? You don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. Well, you can do if you want. I don't want to do it. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've passed the... Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Father won't be happy about this. They fired first. Enough! Ah, shit. The hell, where's he going? There you are. Alright. <laughs> you fools, you damn fools. It's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. We're going to die. <laughs> I'm just. Someone's going to die. Why are we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. 
We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Spike document. Oh my goodness. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, that nobody would be killed. It's done now. If Colonel Favors finds out it was us, then so be it. We tried talking. We should get out of here soon, though. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Ah, oh, shit. Shit! Everyone, keep your heads down! We're coming out of there! I want to use a cannon. Bang. Oh shit. Ain't playing. Where's Peta? Damn, they're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just. I'm worried about folk. I know. I. Should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! Yeah, shit. This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave now. What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Left here, into the trees. It's actually just straight ahead, but I mean, what do I know? <laughs> okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah! Let's see if we can lose him down here. This was your plan. Shit. I guess not. Oh my gosh, Dutch, you idiot. I'm trying to aim at him, but I can't. Oh, shit. I suck. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. God. Alright, he's definitely dead now. Don't you idiot. That's a nice, that's a nice bridge right there. Man, this is gorgeous.
shit, hold on. I gotta have some. Okay, I always got some pistol. I'll just keep using that. up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight for change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. I'm trying to swim. Oh my goodness. Flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith Arthur. Have faith. Sheesh. Dang, this is a 40 minute long video. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> mm. Man, keeps going back to this deer, man. There's something wrong with this deer. I know it's gotta be something up with the deer. Pause it there. It's a pretty long video. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.